Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be taking you guys through some of my fungal acne empties. So those are going to be products that I have used all up and I'm going to tell you guys whether I would repurchase them in the future and kind of more about my experience using them. Roll the footage! I did just want to take a second to say welcome to anyone who is new on this channel. If you don't know by now, I'm Brooke and I talk all about fungal acne and my experience with it on this channel. If you're new to fungal acne and you happen to be looking for a very specific product, it is very likely that I already have a video on that. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything coming in the future. And if you have specific questions, just drop a comment below and I will shoot you a link of a video I've already made. At the very least, make sure you guys grab my free fungal acne shopping guides to Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. All you need to do to get those is look for the shopping cart emojis in the bar below. All right, so if you guys have been around this channel for a while, you'll know that I like to stick to a good routine, but I also like to add new things in, try different products every now and again, just to see how my skin will react and what kind of results I can get from them. I am kind of in the process of mixing things up right now and formulating my winter routine, so that'll be coming in the near future, but I thought this was a really good time for me to go through some of my empties and just tell you my final thoughts on these products and whether or not they're gonna stay in my collection permanently. Make sure you stick around because I am going to share with you two products that I've been testing out recently and how I'm getting along with them. One is a moisturizer and one is a glycogen colic peel. Let's do this. So the first product up is going to be this one. This is the Ulta Beauty Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen. You may remember that I purchased this back when I was doing my Ulta Beauty um, Fungal Acne Safe video. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it for you now. I have since used this up and I have to tell you guys, I'm so glad that I'm done using it. Um, because I probably will not purchase this again. I wanna tell you the two things that are good about this product. The first is that it is very affordable, especially when it comes to SPFs that are fungal acne safe. There's just so few out there, and this has to be on the cheaper end and also like wears well under makeup, easy to use, that kind of situation. And then the second really good thing about this product is that it does cover you. When it's that broad spectrum SPF, it covers you all day. I didn't have any burns, I didn't have any problems. I felt like it really wore well through the day and stayed on and really protected me from the sun. However, there are three huge cons to this product that are gonna be the reasons I won't repurchase it. So the first one is, this product is so heavily fragranced. Every time you spray it on your face, it just feels like you're in this suffocating cloud of this horrible scent. I would have to like hold my breath and pray that it was just gonna be over soon because it really does just make this cloud of fragrance that's awful. The second thing I don't like about this product is that it is this spray aerosol type of a can. And this, is only really a problem for me because you can't tell how much product you're actually getting on your skin. So I always felt like I just needed to do like three whole layers of it, which is also probably why I got such good wear out of it and protection, but there's just not a really good way to tell. So I think that's a downside to this product. And then the final reason that I really will not purchase this product again is because it left this awful, greasy, filmy shine on my face. It just feels awful on your skin. If you're not gonna wear makeup, it looks awful on your skin. It looks like you've been literally sweating at the beach all day long. You know, it's not a very good look for day to day. So that's kind of why I'm just gonna kick this one to the curb. I wanna warn you guys, this is probably not it when it comes to SPF. If you are looking for an SPF that I like, I will link my sunscreen videos for you as well. The next product, I accidentally threw away the bottle when I was having a huge clean of my house recently, um, but believe me when I tell you it was completely empty. That product was the Bioderma Sabium Gel Moussant Cleanser. Now, I have been using this product for a really long time, so you'll have seen it in a lot of my other videos. I'll insert a photo of it right now for you. With this product, I do just wanna say, I was recently looking at the ingredients list and realized that it does have one ester in it, and I'm not sure if that ester was always in the product or it wasn't, it's just hard to say for sure. However, I will tell you that even with that ester present in it, it has never caused me any problems. This cleanser is so gentle to my skin. It just doesn't feel like it's stripping anything off. It feels very balanced when I'm using it. This is technically more of a foaming cleanser. Um, so you can work it into a lather even though it comes out as a gel and it doesn't get super foamy. And I think that's to its benefit because 
it's a little less harsh than some of those foaming type cleansers. Now, I know that some of you guys are scared of foaming cleansers because they tend to be drying, but I will also tell you that's another reason I love this product. I have drier skin and this cleanser does not dry me out any extra. And then the other really amazing thing about it is that I can wash my face with this cleanser I don't even necessarily have to remove my makeup first and I am telling you it will remove every inch of dirt and makeup from my skin and it does that without drying it out. So there's just all these pros to this product to me. Um, with it having that ester in, like I always say, if you're gonna do a product that has something unsafe in it, a cleanser is a really safe bet in that front just because you're not leaving it on your skin long term. Two other items you guys will have seen featured on my channel many times in my skincare routine videos are by The Ordinary. Both of these have like a drop left in them, but they're basically empty. Um, the first one is the Hyaluronic Acid and B5 Serum. You guys know I love this. This stuff has really changed my moisturizing game so much. So when I go to moisturize, I will spritz my face with water or splash it with some water. Either way works fine. And then I will add a couple drops of this hyaluronic acid to it. That just really gets this extra burst of moisture just sitting on your skin and really making your skin look plump and beautiful. And then on top of that, I add my actual moisturizer and it just seals the deal, locks all of that good hydration in and makes my skin look very youthful. So it, this is really one of those products that I don't feel like I can live without. I know a lot of you guys freak out about this one because it has glycerin in it. And if I haven't said it before, I'm just gonna say it one more time here. Glycerin is not going to feed your fungal acne and I really think people need to quit villainizing it. If anything, the glycerin in this product is actually a benefit because it's also sealing that moisture in really well and holding it against your skin as well. If you guys don't believe me about the glycerin situation, I will link the video that I've made on this topic below. I cite scientific studies and I put links to them so that you guys can read them for yourselves. Go watch it and then reformulate your opinion accordingly. If you still decide to avoid it, that's up to you, but I'm definitely never gonna avoid it on this channel. And then the other product by The Ordinary is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% treatment. This stuff is truly for the minimizing of your pores, decongesting your pores, that kind of a situation. Um, they call it a blemish treatment, but it doesn't really treat acne, just FYI. I love this stuff. You guys will have heard me say this before, but when I use this very consistently, it will really help to minimize the appearance of the pores, especially in my T-zone right through here. And I just feel like it really does help with that decongestion piece. If you are using something like the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and it's super heavy, I also feel like this is kind of your best friend because they almost work together to balance each other out. So you don't get too clogged up from using such a heavy product. And then you also have clearer looking pores as a result with all the great moisturization. And by the way, something that I want you guys to know right now is The Ordinary does something um, during the month of November. Instead of Black Friday, they do 23% off all of their website for the entire month of November. So if you guys are looking to try one of these products, now is a great time to buy your products, stock up on them, and also try anything that you've been wanting to check out. And please, 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 if you would, shop through my links below because it really helps me keep this channel afloat. Okay, so those were all the skincare products that were empties. Out of those, the only one I'm not gonna be repurchasing was the sunscreen. You guys know I don't like it. You know that I got my new one already if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but I did just wanna quickly shout out one makeup product that I recently ran out of. And that is my old ride or die, the Lancome Tint Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. I still love, 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 love this stuff. It is on the pricey side, so that's the con. The reason that I'm still gonna repurchase this, even though I really, really love the Maybelline Superstay Foundation recently, is because with the Maybelline Superstay, I feel like there's only one coverage you get, and that is full coverage. And your girl doesn't really like to have full coverage every single day of her life. I started to kind of come to a point where I like myself with a little less makeup, to be honest. That's where this product really comes in. This is ultra wear, you know, can be very much high coverage. You can build it though, and you can really control the coverage piece to this. I feel like I get the light coverage I'm looking for, whereas with the Maybelline, I don't. And those are probably my two favorite foundations at the moment. So those are my current empties, but I wanted to take this moment to share with you guys two products that I have recently been trying out. 
and how I like them. So I'm going to start with the moisturizer. This is the St. Ives Glowing Oil-Free Face Moisturizer. It's made with 100% watermelon. It smells like watermelon. It's part of the whole watermelon craze of 2020. This product is super inexpensive and pretty widely available as far as like drugstores, Target, Walmart, those kind of places go. I have some mixed emotions about this product to be honest with you guys. So when I first used it, I thought maybe this is causing me some superficial breakouts, kind of in the mask knee department. So I was worried that it wasn't gonna work out for me, but I kind of just decided to still use it and see how I got along with it. I don't think that it was causing me breakouts in the end. I think it was just other stuff in my life, but something that I don't like about this product is honestly the smell because it smells like pure watermelon, but it just reminds me of like the kid section from Bath and Body Works and how like kind of like candy like those fragrances were. And so it kind of bugs me out when I'm using it. I don't like it. Texture wise, I really love it. And I also really love the finish. It doesn't have any weird sheen to it when it dries down on your face. And I feel like it's just one of those very balanced moisturizers that gives you the right level of hydration. So if you're not needing something super intense, this is a pretty good everyday one. I do intend to use this whole bottle up. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys my, my current thoughts on the situation. Okay, and then the other product that I have been using, you guys may remember I purchased this back when I did my Sephora collection fungal acne safe video. I'm gonna link that below for you as well. This is the Sephora Glycolic Overnight Glow Mask. Some things that I really love about this product. Number one, it is so gentle on your skin. It feels amazing. It has this kind of like gel cream texture to it and it just blends beautifully down onto your skin. You don't need very much, like a little dip of the fingertip. It'll cover your whole face. Um, the other thing that I love about it is that you don't get this intense peeling of your skin. Usually I'll use this and then the next day when I look at my skin, I wake up and literally it's looking so vibrant and beautiful and clear. And anything that kind of was like hanging out on my skin is usually gone by the next morning. So it's pretty potent in that sense, but it's also gentle in that I don't see a lot of flaking on that day. Within a couple of days after, I will start to see a little bit of superficial flaking of just the very top layer of my skin, which is the whole point of this mask. And if you are someone who's using your um, double cleansing routine, so I do that every night, I use a washcloth with my makeup remover and then I cleanse my face after that, that is probably going to take care of any of the flakes that are on your skin to just get that little tiny piece of physical exfoliation on top of this chemical exfoliation. If you don't, you're gonna need to add that step in within a couple of days or you might get a little buildup of flaking on your skin. So those are just my thoughts. That's what I've experienced with it because when I didn't use my washcloth a couple times, I noticed that it did stick around and had some dry patches. But I do intend to keep using this, repurchasing it. I think that now that I've been using this, I don't really need my Stridex pads as much because this is kind of my once a week treatment right now that's kind of helping everything stay at bay for me. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I am experimenting with some different things and reformulating my current skincare routine. So make sure you guys are subscribed to me so you don't miss it when I put out my updated skincare routine for you guys. I know a lot of you guys kind of live for that particular video and it's coming at you very soon. So get ready for it. As a reminder, all of the products that I mentioned in this video today will be available to shop in the bar below. I will link them all for you. You can also shop them at brooksbeautybazaar.com by clicking shop at the top of the page. And while you're there, I encourage you to hang out a little while and have a look around my website. There are so many great resources there for you and so many reviews and different topics that you can look into. Right now, I'm going to direct your attention to the left of the screen where I'm gonna link two videos. First is my Everything Fungal Acne Safe in the Ulta Beauty Collection. And the second video is Everything Fungal Acne Safe from the Sephora Collection. And make sure you guys come and say hi to me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar where I hang out every single day and join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist.